This compilation of training videos is targeted at staff that are taking phone calls in Microsoft Teams call queues. The timeline markers below will enable you to jump to a topic that most interests you. Enjoy. To check and test your microphone and speakers are working correctly, you can go to the bottom, ensuring that you're in the calls tab. Here we can see that I'm anchored to Desk Pro web camera. I can select device settings. And from here, I can check my audio devices, speaker, and microphone. I'm also able to make a test call. To test your call quality, record a short message after the beep. Your message will then be played back to you. I'm just checking my test microphone and speakers are working over and out. I'm just checking my test microphone and speakers are working over and out. Call handling and forwarding. Again, when you're in the calls tab, you can navigate to the bottom. Don't forward. More settings. Here immediately, call handling and forwarding. Activate this. You can then choose the settings as you see fit. Setting up voicemail. Like anything, there's always more than one way to do things with Microsoft. To navigate to voicemail settings, you can go to the bottom and choose more settings. Or come back to the UCs at the top, select settings, calls, and navigate to manage voicemail. Under manage voicemail, you'll see you've got the option to record a greeting, so that is your own voice. Any system prompts, you can go and choose your language. And you're also able to choose the option about whether a user or a caller gets the option to transfer to somebody else while in voicemail, i.e. dial zero. And here you can specify whether it's operator or one of your colleagues. Now, in terms of the actual voicemail greeting itself, I think the best option is to set up text-to-speech. And here you put your voicemail greeting for day-to-day -day when you're in the office, and you can manage out-of-office voicemail as well. In other words, when Outlook automatic replies are on, or when you've got an event in your calendar, you can come back and say that you're out of the office and to leave a message. Again, I think that is the best option versus having to record your voicemail greeting. Using the dial pad and sending an alternative caller ID. Now, sending an alternative caller ID is contingent on your administrator setting that as an option for you. If I just simply dial zero, pull down the menu, I get the option of all the caller IDs uh, policies that have been assigned to me. And by selecting one, it'll immediately dial the telephone number. This looks at using your call history, callback and adding to a speed dial. Again, once you're in the calls tab, with three tabs, missed, incoming, and voicemail. If I take missed, come back to my three dots, I've got the option to call that person back. I've also got the option to remove them from the speed dial. And the reason I have the option to remove them is because they are already a speed dial. Here we can see on the right-hand side. Now, when you in voicemail, it's a different story, but more options. You've got a callback option to the phone number, mark the voicemail as unread, or adding that person to a speed dial. So if we go back to that voicemail for a second, we haven't picked up the transcription on the right-hand side, but we can listen to the voicemail, and coming back to the top, choose to call the person back. Teams in the calling tab, if you look, We've selected Teams, we part of the sales queue. We select Calls, end of the top, Calls again. And here we've got exactly the same options as we had from our personal settings. We've got the dial pad, we've got missed, incoming, voicemail, but we've also got the additional of checking to see what other staff are available to take calls. Here we can see that I'm logged into the queue. I can easily log out. You can see the Torfik Omar is in the queue and he's available. And I can see Jai Sakaria is in the queue and available. Now the prerequisites for ensuring that you receive phone calls, twofold. One, 
make sure that you are set to available. And two, make sure that you logged into that call queue. The setting must be checked. Making it easy to find your teams in and amongst all of the hundreds of other channels you probably have. Over here, we can see I've only got uh, two channels are showing. But if I want the calls to appear always at the top, I can go and pin. And we'll notice calls are right at the top. Makes it much, much easier in an environment where you've got tens of hundreds of channels. All right, this video looks at uh, receiving a call from a queue. Here we can see I'm being presented with an inbound call from Contoso Sales. I'll go ahead and answer that. Hello? Here we can yeah. see the option to do a blind transfer, which simply transfers the call, or we can consult and transfer. What that does, Top the person in, pull somebody up, gives us the option to then chat the person, do you want to take the phone call, etc. Uh, before we do a transfer to the user um, or the voicemail, uh, to bring the call back, you just hit cancel, come back to resume, and you've then got the caller uh, back in front of you, a whole transfer conference, uh, etc. Firstly, select your picture, then settings, calling, and after a while, you get the option to scroll down to call queue settings, and you can see what you logged into, and you can log in and out as you see fit.